a very good morning to you, my dear student. In the previous video, we have done exercise 10.1 and 10.2. So in this video, let's start from exercise 10.3. Okay, first question I want to try. Find the product using horizontal method. Question number A, we have 2a minus 3b into 4a plus 3b it can be read as 2a minus 3b into 4a plus 3b okay so in, in this question we are going to multiply monomial or binomial and binomial first one we have two terms second also we have two terms so here we are going to multiply binomial and by the mole, okay so what should we do we have to multiply this second by the mole by both 2a and 3b great we have to multiply this by the mole by both the terms 2a and 3b first we'll multiply 2a and 4a plus 4a plus 3b second we will multiply again minus 3b into second binomial got it let's multiply this second binomial by both the terms 2a and 3b turn by turn got it so it will be like this first let's multiply 2a into 4a plus 3b 2a into two terms so you raise into the bracket 2a into 4a plus 3b this is the first group now minus close the bracket minus minus again 3b into 4a plus 3b great we have to multiply I'll repeat we have to multiply this second binomial by both terms 2a and 3b turn by turn great so 2a into 4a plus 3b 2a into 4a plus 3b minus 3b minus 3b into again 4a plus 3b 4a plus 3b got it now what should we do let's remove this bracket then how can you remove this bracket we have to multiply again both this term by 2a already done in previous exercise 2a into 4a 2a into 3b second again minus 3b into minus 4a minus 3b into plus 3b got it okay let's check it out 2a into 4a plus plus again 2a into 3b 2a into 3b second minus minus again 3b into 4a 3b into 4a now plus or minus we have to refer this to sign right this is minus this is plus and we know minus into plus is minus so 3b into 3b is 3b into 3b okay okay here let's multiply numbers 2 into 4 2 4 zero, 8 what about a a and a is a into a is we have to a so we'll write a is square then plus plus 3 into 2 is 6 what about letters we have only one a only one a what about b we have only one b so let's write only b got it minus minus again let's multiply numbers 3 and 4 3 4 sir 12 what about a we have only one what about b we have only one minus minus again what about numbers 3 and 3 3 3 sir 9 what about b b and b b into b is we know b square got it and then in this step we have to check whether like term is there or not okay any like term is here a square how many terms are there a square we have only one term so it has no like term right same as it is a square okay what about a b a b we have two terms right a b a b that, that means six plus 6 ab and minus 12 ab this is a like term we can add or subtract then let's check it out ab ab this is like term so let's solve this one 6 ab this is plus 12 ab this is minus and plus into minus is minus so 12 minus 6 is 6 ab what about 6 ab this is plus or minus 
we have to check greater greater number what is it? which one is greater number greater number is 12 and this is negative so you write minus 6ab okay what about b square we have only one term so you write same as it is minus 9b square got it first term this is a square second term this is a b third term this is b square so this is not like term this is unlike term we cannot add we cannot subtract this answer okay but now let's try question b b we have 2 m minus 3 n into m plus n okay again let's follow same step Let's multiply this second binomial m plus n by both the terms 2 m and 3 n turn by turn. Okay, first we'll multiply 2 m into m plus n. 2 m into m plus n. Now again second minus 3 n into m plus n. That is minus 3 minus 3 into or minus 3n sorry minus 3n into n plus n <coughs> okay okay next step again we have to multiply like this 2m into m 2m into n 3n into m 3n into n okay now you already discussed in previous exercise 2m into m plus plus again 2m into n 2m into n now second minus minus 3n into m 3n into m what about sign we have to check this two sign minus and plus or minus into plus is minus 3n into n 3n into n okay okay 2m 2 number we have only two say so right two what about m we have two m m and m m into m is we know m square plus number we have only two m we have only one n only one minus minus what about numbers we have only three what about m we have only one m what about n we have only one n minus minus number we have only three what about m m there we have only n n and n, n is n into n is n square okay again let's check like terms <coughs> n square how many terms are there we have only one term so you assume as it is 2m square but m n we have two terms it has like term right m n m n sim so this is a like term we can add or subtract let's check it out plus into mm, 2 m n this is plus 3 m n this is minus so plus into minus is minus so 3 minus 2 is 1 m n what about this one plus or minus we have to check greater number which one is greater number? Greater number is 3 and this is minus so it will be minus 1 mn okay now n square how many terms are there? n square we have only one term say resume is this minus 3 n square okay now is this a like term or unlike term? this is unlike term first one is m square second term is mn third term is n square this is unlike term we cannot add we cannot subtract so this is the answer okay let's try c c we have x plus y z into 2x minus 7 y z okay let's check it out this one nothing new again same let's follow same step we have to multiply both this term by this two term x and y z first let's check x x into again 2x minus 7yz second plus plus second yz yz in the second binomial 2x minus 7yz okay now let's open up this bracket x into 2x is x into 2x minus minus again x into 7yz x into 7 y z <coughs> plus plus again y z into 2 x y z into 2 x what about sign we have plus and minus so plus into minus will be minus and again y z into 7 y z y z into 7 y z any problem here okay 
Okay, the last check number. Number we have only two. Two. What about x? X and x is x square. Minus minus number we have only seven. Seven. X only one. Y only one. Z only one. Okay. Plus plus. What about numbers? We have only two. So you write two. What about x? We have only one x. Let's check in alphabetical order. Okay. What about y? We have only one y. What about z? We have only one z. Minus, minus. Okay, number we have seven. X not there. Let's check y. Y we have two y y and y y into y is y square. What about z? We have two z. Z into z will be z square. Okay. And now let's check like terms. Okay. In this step. How many terms are there of x term? Uh, x square. Okay, x square. We have only one term, right? That is two x square. So your same as it is two x square. Okay. Then now any more like term here? Yes, I think these two terms x y z, x y z same. So these two terms are like term we can add or subtract. Let's take it out. 7xyz this is minus 2xyz this is plus. So plus minus into plus is minus. Then 7 minus 2 is 5xyz. What about 5 positive or negative? Let's check it out. Which one is greater number here? Greater number is 7 and this is minus. So this will be minus 5xyz. Okay now x square x square z square. Uh, why I mean y square is that square y square is that square it has only one term is right it has no like term so this will be 7 y square z square same as it is okay now any like term is here first one is x square term second one is x y z third one is y square z square it has no like term right so we cannot add we cannot subtract this will be the answer okay Okay, now question number E. E we have 11 a b minus 1 into a b minus 4. Not new again we have to multiply this by the mole by 11 a b n minus 1. Okay first let's take my 11 a b. 11 a b into second by the mole a b minus 4 so you write a b minus 4 now this one minus 1 minus 1 into again second binomial a b a b minus 4 okay okay then again let's open up this bracket 11 a b into a b 11 a b into a b minus minus 11 a b into 4 11 a b into Four. now minus minus again 1 into a b 1 into a b now what about sign we have to refer this to sign minus and minus minus into minus is plus 1 into 4 1 into 4 clear okay 11 a number we have only 11 so you write same as it is what about a we have 2 a a and a a into a is a square what about b b and b b b and b is b square minus minus okay number we have 11 and 4 so 11 into 4 is for 11 4 so 44 a we have only one b also we have only one okay minus minus number we have only one a we have only one b only one plus plus one and four one four so four no letters right Okay, now let's check like terms. A square B square it has only one term. So your resume it is S eleven A square B square. A B we have two terms that is minus forty four A B and minus one A B. A B A B same this is like term. So we can either add or subtract. Let's check it out. 44 AB this is negative, uh, 1 AB this is negative, then minus into minus is plus, so 44 plus 1 is 45 AB, and this is plus or minus, uh, greater number is 44, this is negative, so you write minus, what about number, we have only 1, it has no like term, so resume message is plus 4, 
first one a square b square second one a b third one only number so it has no like term we cannot add we cannot subtract okay now let's try f okay, f we have 3 m square minus 4 into 4 m square minus 1 okay again let's multiply this binomial by 3m square and minus 4 separately first let's take 3m square 3m square into second binomial 4m square minus 1 now second one minus minus 4 into second binomial 4m square minus 1 okay and now let's open this bracket 3m square into 4m square 3m square into 4m square now minus minus again 3m square into 1 3m square into 1 minus minus again 4 into 4m square 4 into 4m square what about sign we have to refer this to sign minus 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 into minus is plus again 4 into 1 4 into 1 okay Okay, then now let's check number number we have 3 and 4 3 4 30 of okay well, how many m's are here m square m square so this will be m to the power we have 2m 2m how many tot how, how was the tot tot total number of m here the total number of m is 4 right m square into m square will be m to the power 4 2 plus 2 4 minus minus Number we have 3 and 1, 3 1 so 3, m, m we have only m square, so your is just m square. Minus, minus again 4, number we have 4 and 4, 4 4 so 16, m we have only m square, so your is just m square. Plus, plus 4 1 so 4. Again, let's check like term. Okay, m to the power 4, it has like term or not has no like term we have only one term that is 12 m to the power 4 but m square and m square it has like term right m square m square we have two terms then let's check sign 3 m square this is negative 16 m square this is negative so minus into minus is plus and 16 plus 3 is 19 m square what about sign plus or minus greater number is 16 this is minus so this will be minus 19 m square Last one we have only 4. It has no like term, right? So you write only 4 that is plus 4. Okay, any like term is 0. First one m to the power 4, second m. Okay, now next, next exercise 10.4. In 10.4, you are going to learn three important algebraic identity which will help you in hair classes. So first, let me write the three identity. We are going to learn these three algebraic identities. That is, first one we have a plus b the whole square is equal to a plus b the whole square this identity is a square plus 2 a b plus b square and then second identity a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square it can be written as a square minus 2 a b plus b square and then third identity we have a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square okay these are the three important algebraic identity which will help you in class 9 and 10 so please don't forget it okay great first algebraic identity it can be written as a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square second algebraic identity it can be written as a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab 
plus b square third identity is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square again we can say either a plus b into a minus b or a minus b into a plus b a plus b into a minus b or a minus b into a plus b same okay great we can see either a plus b into a minus b or a minus b into a plus b okay this identity is a square minus b square great these are the three important algebraic identity for higher classes so you please listen carefully okay we are going to discuss one by one got it okay and now let's try some question by using this three identity exercise 10.4 10.4 first question we have using the identity a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square expands each of the following okay first question we have x plus 6 the whole square great we are asked to expand this one by using algebraic identity that is first identity right now a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square 2ab 2ab means 2 into a into b okay 2 into a into b same okay great 2 into a into b it can be it can be written as only 2ab shortcut great okay then let's solve this one by using a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab minus plus b square great then now what should we do here let's take x as a okay great and then here let's take b let's take 6 as b get it yes x plus b the whole square means a plus b the whole square by taking x as a and by taking 6 as b any problem here no problem right okay we are going to solve this question by using this uh, algebraic identity okay let's take x as a 6 as b then a plus b the whole square formula is a square then a square means here we are taking x as a so you write x square got it x square means a square right which is plus plus again now 2ab 2ab means 2 into a into b okay then which one is a here here we are taking x as a right now x is in a s place so 2 into a a can be written as x okay 2ab then here which one is b we are taking 6 as b right why because 6 is in b's place okay then 2 2 a b 2 into a already down again we need we have to write here b then which one is b b is 6 so you write 6 okay then now last one plus b square plus b square plus b square then here which one is b here b is 6 so you write 6 square okay x plus b the whole square or a plus b the whole square formula is a square plus 2ab plus b square by taking x as a 6 as b okay any problem 
okay then x square x square means same we write x square plus plus and then second number we have two and six so we write two six here twelve x we have only one plus plus and then what about six six square six square six square means we have to multiply six two times six into six okay six square means we have to multiply two times six square is equal to six into six so six six square, 36 right so six square is 36 okay then how and then here like term is there not x square first term second one is x term third is 36 it has no like term right first one is x square second term is x third term is 36 that is number it has no like term we cannot add we cannot subtract so this answer very simple right but you please memorize these three algebraic identity okay why because this is going to help you in higher classes Okay, let's try more question. Question number B. Y plus 9 the whole square. Okay, in this question, let's take Y as A, 9 as B. Okay. Okay, A plus B the whole square y plus 9 the whole square is equal to a square first we have to write a squared in here which one is a here y is in s place so y will be a that is y square is a square plus 2ab plus 2ab plus 2ab means 2 into a into b then here which one is a here 2ab we are taking y as a so let's write y okay into b 9 is in this place that means we can take 9 sp right so in place of b you write 9 okay a square plus a square plus 2ab 2ab plus again we have to write b square plus plus b square then here which is b b is 9 so you write b square in place of b square you write 9 square got it Okay, now y square we have only one y square plus plus and the number we have second in second term number we have two and nine so two nine sir 18 what about y we have only one y so let's write on the y plus plus nine square nine square means nine into nine so nine square is nine nine zero 81 so nine square we have 81 okay like term is there not y square only one term y only one term it one number only one term it has no like term so the sub answer very simple right okay now let's try c c we have a plus four the whole square <coughs> okay then here we can take a s a for s b okay then a plus b the whole square is a square plus 2 a b plus b square okay first one is a square so we can write a square plus 2 a b plus 2 into a into b which was a here a is a b b is 4 plus 1 plus b square plus which is b here 4 right so you write 4 square then now a square is a square plus plus number we have 2 and 4 2 4 sir 8 a we have only 1 plus plus now 4 square 4 square means we have to multiply 2 times so 4 square 4 4 4 sir 16 right First one a square, second only a, third only number, it has no like term, so we cannot add, we cannot subtract this will be the answer, okay? Now let's try question number D. L plus M the whole square. Again A plus B the whole square is A square plus two A B plus B square. So here we can take 
L is A, right? And we can take M as B. Why? Because L is in A's place, M is in B's place. So, L we can write A, M also we can write B. Okay, here, which is A, L, right? Which is B, M, okay? A plus B the whole square identity is A square. So, we can write L square because L is in A plus, right? Now, second term, plus 2AB. 2AB means 2 into A into B. Plus 2AB, plus 2 into A into B. Then, which is A here? L is in A plus. What about B? M is in B plus. M. Last one plus b square so write plus b square m is in b plus so this will be m square okay the problem okay then l square we have only one term l square plus second term number we have only two two what about l we have only one what about m we have only one plus m square we have only one term m square and then this is an unlike term right why because l square only one term lm we have only one term m square only one term it has no like term so we cannot add okay okay let's try e <coughs> p plus q the whole square okay then how here p is in s plus q is in b plus Okay, then now let's use this identity. First one is a square. A plus b the whole square is a square. So we we'll write b square. Next one plus 2ab plus 2 into a is b plus b is q. Plus 1 plus b square plus b square. Q is in b plus. So you write q square. Okay. Then b square we have only 1 plus number we have only in second term number we have only two so you write two p only one q only one plus 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 one q square q square first one p square second p q third one q square it has no like term so this will be the answer okay okay let's try f <laughs> f we have x plus 4y the whole square okay again let's solve this identity let's solve this question by using identity a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square okay, here x is in a place 4 y is in b place so a plus b the whole square formula is a first one is a square so here we can write x square in place of a square right Next one plus 2ab 2 into a into b you can hear which one is a here a is x what about b b is 4y right a square plus 2ab plus plus 1b square which one is b here b is 4y 4y okay we have both 4 and y so in this case you make it the whole square okay Please don't write for y square. This is wrong. Okay. If only one number is there, no need to write inside the bracket. No problem. But if two numbers are there, you please write inside the bracket. Got it? Don't write for y square. You write for y the whole square. Why? Because for also b, y also be right. Now, so in this case, you have to make it. 4y the whole square okay don't write 4y square only okay if you write 4y square only y is square not 4 which is so you have to write 4y the whole square okay okay then x square we have only one plus number we have 2 and 4 so 2 4 0 8 x we have only one y we have only one plus plus okay for y the whole square means for also square y also square okay great 
for y the whole square means that both four and y are square okay first let's check four okay four square four square means four four square sixteen here don't write four okay four y the whole square means four also square y also square got it any problem here okay first let's check number four square four four sixteen what about y y square y square means y into y y into y is y square okay first one we have x square second we have x y third we have y square it has no like term so this will be the answer okay okay you please try one question okay out of textual question just say x plus 2 y the whole square you please try this one again okay, now let's try second identity that is a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square second question we have using the identity using the identity a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and expand each of the following let's try question number one First one we have t minus five the whole square. Not new we can refer previous question. We are going to solve this question by using algebraic identity a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus two a b plus b square. So here t minus t minus five the whole square in we can take we can assume t is a five is b okay why because T is in A's place, 5 is in B's place, right? Okay? So, T minus 5 with the whole square means just say A minus 5, A minus B the whole square. Then this identity is A square. First, we have to write A square. Then here, which is A, T is in A's place, so you write T square. T square means A square, right? The next, we have minus 2AB. Minus 2 into A into B. In here which is a a is t so you write t into b is into b which is b here b is 5 why because 5 is in b is plus so you write sorry this is 5 okay last one we have only plus b square so you write plus b square which is b 5 is in b is plus so you write 5 square okay then t square is T square minus here we have number we have 2 and 5 so 2 5 sir 10 T we have only 1 plus plus number we have on um, I mean last one 5 square 5 square means we have to multiply 2 times that is 5 into 5 so 5 5 sir 25 okay it has no like term first one T square second only T third only number it has no like term so this will be answer we cannot add we cannot subtract for unlike term right Okay, now let's try b m minus a the whole square again same identity a minus b the whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square here m is in s place a is in b place the first one is a square that is m square sorry this is minus 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 2 a b that is 2 into a into b which is a a is m b a is in b plus so you write a plus 1 plus b square plus b square a is in b plus so you write a square okay the next we have m square only one minus minus number we have only two so you write two okay let's take alphabetical order a we have only one m only one 
plus plus a square is a square okay first one m square second we have a m third a square it has no like term we cannot add we cannot subtract to so this will be the answer okay now let's try c x minus y the whole square okay here a is x is in s place y is in b place so first one a square is we can write x square right minus 2ab minus 2 into a is x b is y plus 1 plus b square plus y y is in b plus so here we can write y square right is equal to x square only 1 minus minus 2 number we have only 1 x only 1 y only 1 plus plus y square y square means y into y is same y square first one x square second x y third y square this is unlike term we cannot that we cannot subtract okay okay now let's try d a minus r the whole square a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, here a is a, a is in s place, a is in b place. Okay. Then first one a square, we can write a square minus 2ab minus 2 into a into b. A is a, b is r plus b square plus r is in b place. So you write r square. Okay. a square a square a into a is a square minus 2 only 1 a only 1 r only 1 plus r square only 1 okay a square a r r square this is unlike term we cannot solve okay okay let's try e 9 minus 4p the whole square Okay, then here we can take 9s a y because 9 is in s place. 4 p is in b place. Okay. First one a square that is 9 square minus 2 a b minus 2 into a into b which is which one is a 9 which one is b 4 p plus 1 plus b square plus b square which is b here both 4 and b right so in this case also you write 4 p the whole square don't write 4 p square this is wrong okay you, you have to make it the whole square okay why because both 4 both 4 and b is b okay 9 square 9 square means 9 into 9 we have to multiply 2 times so 9 square was 9 square 9 into 9 is 9, 9, 0, 81, minus, number, we have 2 and 4, so 2, 4, 0, 8, no, 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 we have 3 numbers, right, 2, 9, and 4, so 2, 9, sir, 2, 9, sir, 18, right, again, 18 into 4, 4 is a 32, 3 in hand, 3 in hand, 4, 1, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, we cut 72, then P, we have only 1, plus plus 4p the whole square 4p the whole square means both 4 and p are square okay 4 also square p also square so 4 squares 4 square is 4 4 square 16 p square p into p is p square okay got it so this is number this is p this is p square it has no like term this will be the answer now let's try question by F. F we have S minus six the whole square. So here S is in S plus six is in B plus. Okay. A minus b the whole square a square so we can write a square minus 2ab minus 2 into a is s into b is 6 plus b square is 6 is b plus so this will be 6 square right 
S square, S into S is S square. Minus number we have 2 and 6, so 2, 6, 12, S only 1. Plus, plus 6 square. 6 square means we have to multiply 2 times, so 6 into 6 is 6, 6, sir, 36, right? First one is S square, second is S, first one is only number. It has no like term, so this will be the answer. Okay, now G, we have... 3x minus 7y the whole square here 3x is in s place 7y is in b place okay which one is a 3x which one is b 7y okay the first one a square a square so we we'll write 3x don't write 3x square only okay why because both 3 and x are in so you have to write the whole square okay don't write three x square only okay three a square so a square we can write three x the whole square why well, because a is three x minus two a b minus two into a into b which is a here three x now two a b which is b b seven y is b Plus 1 plus b square plus b square which was b here b is 7y right so you write 7y don't write only 7y square if you write 7y square only y is square not 7 okay here 7y is b so you write 7y the whole square okay now let's remove this bracket 3x the whole square means 3 also square x also square okay so 3 square what is 3 square 3 square is 3 3 square 9 right x square x square x x square means x into x so x into x is x square minus minus okay here number we have 2 3 7 let's multiply these three numbers 2 3 sir 6 6 7 sir 42 now letters x only one y only one plus plus 7 y the whole square both 7 and y are square again okay? so first let's check 7 7 square 7 square means 7 into 7 7 7 7 49 right what about y y is square y into y is y square okay first one x square second is x y third is y square it has no like term so this will be the answer okay okay let's do only up to question number g Please try this question. Just see. I'll give you easy one. 2x minus 3y the, the whole square. You please try this one again. Okay? Very easy. Okay. Now, <coughs> third, third identity. A plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Question number 3 we have. Using the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square then find the following product first question we have 4x minus 3y the 3y into 4x plus 3y okay here we are going to multiply these two binomial by using identity okay great Okay, this is the third identity, last identity in your syllabus. Okay, we are going to use, we are going to use, use this identity. See so here we can take 4x, 4x, and right. In first binomial, first term is 4x, second binomial, first term 4x, 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 and so let's take 4x as AA. Okay. What about B? <coughs> Here, second term minus 3y, third term 3y. 3y, 3y, same, so we can assume 3y is B, 3y is B. Okay? And here, we can apply this identity. 4x minus 3y means just say A minus B. Okay? 4x plus 3y means just say A plus B. Great. So, 
4x minus 3y into 4x plus 3y, it can be written as by using this identity a square minus b square. So here we should use a. a is 4x, so you write 4x. Don't write 4x square, okay? You have to write 4x the whole square, okay? Plus 1 minus b square, minus b, which is b here, b is 3y. So you write 3y the whole square. Don't write 3y square only. Okay, now here 4x the whole square means 4 square x also square. So 4 square is 4, 4, sir. 16. What about x? x square. x square means x into x. So x into x is x square. Minus, minus 3y the whole square. So 3 also square, y also square. 3 square, what is 3 square? 3 square is 3, 3, sir. 9. What about y square? y square is y into y is y square. Okay, then first one we have x square, second y square. This is not like terms, so we cannot subtract 16 and 9. Okay, so this will be the answer. Okay, x square, y square. This is unlike term, we can solve. Okay, now question number B. Sorry to say, this is B. Okay, B we have 6x plus 7 into 6x minus 7. Okay, let's find out this product by using identity. First one, 6x, 6x, six, six, same. So let's take 6x as A, A, okay? Second, 7 and 7, same. So let's take 7 as B. Great. Then by using this identity, it will be a squared minus b squared, so which is a, a is 6x, so you write 6x the whole square, minus b square, that is minus, which is b, 7, so you write 7 square, okay? Then 6 square, 6 square is 6, 6, sir, 36, was x square, x square into x is x square, minus 7 square, 7, 7, sir, 49, this is x square, this number this is not like term, so, we cannot solve. Okay, now let's try C. 9A square plus B square into 9A square minus B square. Let's choose this identity. A plus B into A minus B formula is A square minus B square. Okay, first one 9a square 9a square sum so let's take 9a square is a a second one b square b square sum so this one will take it as b okay then a plus b into a minus b formula is a square minus b square so here which one is a 9a square is a so you write 9a square a should be a square so you make it the whole square okay minus b square minus which one is b b is b square so you write b square but in formula in identity we have square so you make it the whole square okay nine a square the whole square what is nine square nine nine sir 81 a square square so we have to multiply this two power two into two 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 sir a to the power two two sir four minus b B again, we have bracket between these two powers, so we have to multiply 2, 2, sir, 4. Okay? A to the power 4, this is B to the power 4, this is not like term, so we can solve. Okay, let's try D. X plus M into X minus M. Then here we can take X as A. A, same, same, M, M, same, so we can take M, S, B, B. Okay? Then, A plus B into A minus B formula is A square minus B square. In place of A square, we can write X square, right? Minus B square minus which is B here, B is M, so you write M square. Okay? X square, M square, not, nothing to solve. This will be the answer, okay? Okay, you try one question. I'll give you one. Just say 2x plus 2x 
plus just say just say 6 2x plus 6y into 2x minus 6y okay you can take 2x as a 6y as b and please solve this one by using this identity okay homework okay as i said in the introduction let's discuss only few questions that is important which will help you in higher classes okay now let's see exercise 10.5 question number one divide 4 m to the power 4 by 3 m to the power 2 okay now let's divide this two monomer 12 m to the power 4 only one term monomer 3m to the power 2 only one term monomer let's divide this one 12 m to the power 4 divided by 3 m to the power 2 okay can you tell me this answer it's very easy very simple can you okay this is the first question if you cannot say then let me tell you 12 m to the power 4 divided by 3 m to the power 2 first you check number okay numerator number we have 12 denominator denominator number we have 3 so 12 and 3 we can cancel right what is the common factor of 12 and 3 common factor of 12 and 3 is 3 we can cancel 3 and 12 that is 3 3 into what number is 12 3 4 are 12 right so here number you can write only 4 okay now let's cancel m m to the power 4 m to the power 4 that means in the numerator how many m are there m to the 4 m to the power 4 means we have 4 m right okay if you're getting confused let me do a rough work for you m to the 4 m to the power 4 means we have 1 2 3 4 we have 4 m okay and then denominator we have m square m square means we have 2 m right m square means we can write m into m okay then see if we cancel if we cancel 2 m in denominator then numerator numerator also you have to cancel 2 m right then what's remain here only m and m right m into m is m into m it can be written as m square right got it m to the power 4 it can be written as 4 uh, we have to repeat 4 times m into m into m into m 4 times m square we have to multiply 2 times m m then denominator we have 2 m so you cancel the 2 m and numerator also you have to cancel 2 m okay then remaining m we have only 2 m into m is m square okay and in, in shortcut we can cancel from here denominator we have m square that means we have 2m now then if we cancel 2m in denominator numerator numerator so you have to cancel you have to remove 2m right so m to the power 4 4 will become 4 will become square right okay m square we have 2m so you just cancel the 2m okay then denominator m to the power 4 that means we have 4m so we have to cancel 2m okay then remaining will be m to the power 2 great any problem here m to the power 4 means m into m into m into m divided by m to the power 2 means you have to multiply 2 times m into m okay then if you cancel 2m in denominator numerator so you have to cancel 2m then what remain m and m m into m is m square but then, if you're getting confused, you can do a four. But in shortcut, we can cancel from here. Okay, denominator m square cancel. 
then nimetro so you have to remove 2m so if you re if you remove 2m then what remain only m square right great so m to the power 4m square just be the answer okay okay question number b let's submit let's see question number c Ten z square divided by 5z okay 10z divided 10z square divided by 5z okay number 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 we have down the number number we have 5 so we can cancel these two number 5 and 10 was the common factor common factor of 10 and 5 5 so 5 5 5 and what number is 10 5 2 13 so num for numbers we can write 2 what about z Denominator, uh, numerator, we have z square. Denominator, we have only z. That means only one z. Then if you cancel, if you remove one z in denominator, numerator, so you have to remove one z, right? Okay. So z square will become only z to the power one, right? Okay. Z to the power one or only z same. If you are getting confused, let me draw a four. Z to the power 2 can be written as Z into Z to tens. Denominator only 1Z. So if we, re if we cancel 1Z, denominator also you have to cancel 1Z. Then what remain? Only 1Z, right? Okay? Or in shortcut, you, you can cancel it from here. Denominator, denominator you have 1Z. So you remo remove or you cancel the Z. Then if you remove 1Z in denominator, denominator also you have to remove 1Z. So z to the power 2 will become z to the power 1 why because 1z already can now already cancelled right so remaining we have only 1z z to the power 1 or z on this z same okay z to the power 1 and z this is same okay any problem here okay let's try d Minus 17x to the power 3 by 17x. Minus 17x to the power 3 divided by 17. Okay, here we have minus. So, we, first we check minus. How many minus sign? We have only one minus sign. We cannot cancel. So, minus will be here. What about numbers? 17 and 17. 17, 17 cancel. Nothing remain right. 17 1 is 17 but 1 to none it right if you want to write you can write no problem okay what about x of oh, sorry denominator we have 17 x okay in numerator how many x are there you please tell me uh, 17 x to the power 3 x to the power 3 how many x we have 3 x right okay denominator how many x we have only one x right then if you remove if you remove one x in denominator then numerator also you have to remove one x so x to the power 3 will become if you tell me x to the power 3 will become yes square right why because one x already already cancelled right okay so this answer we can write 17 1 to 17 if you want to write this one you can write no problem okay what about the x denominator 1x is here so if you remove 1x in denominator numerator also you have to remove 1x so x to the power 2 will become 1x already cancel so we can write to write huh? so remaining we have x and square so you write x square okay <coughs> okay rough work x to the power 3 means we have x into x into x okay divided by denominator we have only one x only one x then if you remove one x then denominator so you have to remove one x then what remain x and x x into x is x square same right okay if you are getting confused you please do rough work okay if you are smart enough you can cancel from here Okay, that's up to your name. Okay, let's try question number E. <clears throat> e we have minus 21 R square by minus 7 R. 
Okay, here we have minus 21 r square divided by minus 7 r. Okay, here we have two minus sign numerator, we have minus denominator, so we have minus, so minus and minus we can cancel. Okay, now let's check number. Number we have 21 and 7 numerator, 21 denominator 7. Then what is the common factor of 21 and 7? Common factor of 21 and 7 is 7, right? We can cancel, right? So we can cancel 7 into what number is 21? 7, 3 is 21, so number we got 3. Then what about R? Numerator r squared that means we have two r denominator r we have only one r and if you remove one r in denominator numerator so you have to remove one r so this will be one right why because one r already cancelled now so this will be r to the power one or r same okay r and r to the power one same okay let me draw for r square means we can write r into r divided by denominator only one r then if you remove one r in denominator denominator numerator so you have to remove one r so what remain only one r right okay if you're smart enough you just cancel it from here but if you're gonna confuse you can do rough work for your friends okay that's up to your name okay now let's try question number two b okay that's the only B and D. It can be written as 5m to the power 3 minus 30m square plus 45m divided by 5m. Okay. In lower classes, you have done division of numbers. Suppose divided 15 by 2. This can be written as 15 divided by 2. Two, you know this division of number 2, 7, 7, 14, 15 minus 14 is 1, okay? So then here, question, which one is question? Question is 7, which one is divisor? Divisor is, divisor is to write in dividends. Which one is dividend? Dividend is 15 and then remainder. Remainder is one right. This is called division of numbers, but this is for lower classes. Okay, so in your syllabus, you are going to you are going to learn this division of polynomials. Okay, this is called division of number. This is for lower classes. Okay, and then this is division of polynomials. This is for higher classes. It's here in the syllabus. Okay, <laughs> this is dividend, this is divisor. To find out question, we have to do rough work. Okay, this division of polynomials, it will help you even in class 9 and 10. Okay, so you please listen sincerely and could be done all the solutions on a note book and keep on practicing okay why because it will be there even in class 9 and class 10 okay this one you can solve it without doing rough work okay but if you do it without doing rough work you may make mistake or you may not understand so let's do rough work okay in order to find out question, we have to, in all the questions, even in class 19, we are going to follow same steps, so you please listen sincerely again. To find our first question, we have to divide first term in divisor and first term in, a uh, first term in dividend by first term in divisor. What is the first term in dividend here? First term in dividend 5m to the power 3, so you write, write here 5m to the power 3. 5m to the power 3 divided by here first term is 5m okay let's solve this one like previous question okay here we can cancel 5 and 5 right 5 and 5 same so you cancel 5 and 5 number nothing remain what about m m to the power 3 divided by m numerator we have 3m right m to the power 3 means we have 3m denominator m we have only 1m then if we remove 1m in denominator numerator also you have to remove 1m so m to the power 3 will become 
हमारे शेप लिस्ट हमें इफ यू रिमूव वन एम इन डिनोमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर आल्सो यू हैव टू रिमूव वन एम सो एम टू द पार्ट शुड बिकम एम टू द पार्ट व्हाई बिकॉज़ वन एम ऑलरेडी रिमूव ना वन एम ऑलरेडी कैंसिल देन हियर रिमेनिंग वी हैव एम पावर इज 2 ओके सो दिस एम टू द पार्ट 2 दिस अ क्वेश्चन सो यू राइट इट हियर ऑन क्वेश्चन साइड एम स्क्वायर ओके and again m square into this answer into divisor 5m okay in here number we have only 5 so you write 5 how many m m square into m is m square into m 2m 1m so the total number of m 3 so m square into m will be m to the power 3 then this 5m to the power 3 you write it here you please check like term and you just write below that one m to the power 3 you find m to the power 3 here so you just write below this one 5m to the power 3 5 m to the power 3 okay great and then you please change the sign In all the questions, we have to change the sign 5m to the power 3 this is plus or minus if there is no sign that means that it is plus. So 5m to the power 3 you change into minus. Okay. And then here same value opposite sign we can cancel. Okay. Same value means talking about same answer. 5m to the power 3, 5m to the power 3 same. 5m to the power 3 this is plus, 5m to the power 3 this is minus. Same value opposite sign so cancel this one. Okay, and then you write all the remaining one. Remaining we have minus 30m square plus 45m. Okay. Okay, to find the second question, again let's follow the same step. You take first term in dividends, okay? First term is minus 30m square divided by here. First term is, again, 5m. Okay, in here we have only one minus sign we, we cannot cancel, so you please write minus sign. So we can cancel 5 and 6, 5 and 30 was the common factor of 5 and 30. We can cancel by 5, 5, 6, 30. So you write 6. Okay, what about the m? The numerator we have. M square we have 2m, numerator we have 1m. If you remove 1m in the numerator, numerator also you have to remove 1m. So this will be no more square, this will be 1. Why? Because 1m already cancelled now. M, m. If power is 1, no need to write. So here 6m. Okay, this minus 6m, you write it here on question minus 6m. Okay. I can this minus 6m into what? Minus 6m into divisor 5m. Okay. Then here, minus sign, we have only one. We cannot remove. What about numbers? We have 6 and 5. So, 6, 5, 0, 30. Okay. How many m? m and m. m into m is m square. So, you find out m square and you just write below that one. m square is here. So, you write minus 30 m square. You write it here. minus 30 m square and then change the sign 30 m square this is minus so you change into plus okay same value opposite sign you can cancel 30 m square this is minus 30 m square this is plus same number opposite sign so let's cancel this one okay then remaining we have only 45 m so you write here 45 m if sign is plus no need to write okay let's now let's find out next question first one is 45 m so here you write 45 m divided by and uh, divided by divisor 5 m okay then 45 and 45 and 9 we can cancel by 5 we know 5 9 0 45 so here we write 9 what about m numerator we have one m denominator we have one m only one one m so we cancel m m so remaining we have only one 9 means plus 9 so this one you write on question plus 9 okay and again this plus 9 this answer into 
this sensor into divisor okay this sensor into divisor divisor is 5 m so here you write 5 m then let's multiply this one 5 9 5 0 45 we have 1 m m so 45 45 m you write it here 45 m okay great and then change the sign 45 m this is plus so you change into minus great 45 m 45 m same what about sign 45 m this is plus 45 m this is minus so same the low plus sign cancel this one what remain nothing remain here so remainder will be zero okay therefore we cut question question is m square minus 6 m plus 9 and then remainder remainder is we cut zero okay this is called division of polynomial it will be zero in class 9 and class 10 okay you can solve without doing rough work but as i said without doing rough work you may make mistakes so i've done rough work okay Okay, let's try the 20x to the power 3 plus 12x square minus 10x divided by x. Okay, not new, let's follow the same step. Here was the first term. First term is 20x to the power 3 divided by here, divisor is x, okay? Number we have only 20, we cannot cancel, so you write 20 as it's same as it is. What about x? Numerator we have x to the power 3, we have 3x. Denominator we have only 1x. Then if you cancel 1x in denominator, or if you remove 1x in denominator, numerator also you have to remove 1x. So x to the power 3 will become x to the power 2, right? Why? Because 1x already can write. So here we have only x, and then power is 2. 20x square, you write here. 20x to the power 2 okay and again 20x to the power 2 this answer into divisor x all right again 20x square okay into divisor x okay in here number we have only 20 so you write 20 how many x x to the power 2 into x 1x is x to the power x to the power 2, x square into x is x to the power 3 so x to the power 3 you find out x to the power 3 here, you just write below this one 20x to the power 3 okay and then change the sign 20x to the power 3 20x to the power 3 this is plus 20x to the power 3 this is plus so you change into minus okay 20x to the power 3 20x to the power 3 same value 20x to the power 3 this is plus 20x to the power 3 this is minus same value opposite this sign so let's cancel this one okay then you write remaining one that is 12x to the power 2 minus 10x great okay you can just follow same step to find out question first term that is 12x to the power 3 divided by or not 12x square 12x square divided by here what will write divisor x okay number we have only 12 we can cancel so you just write 12 what about x Numerator we have x square we have 2x denominator we have x only 1x so if we cancel 1x in denominator numerator also you have to remove 1x so this will be no more square this will be 1 why because 1x already cancelled right so remaining we have x if power is 1 no need to write so 12x 12x means plus 12 plus okay so please plus 12x you write in question plus 12x okay Again, this answer 12x into divisor that is x. Number we have only 12. What about x? x and x, x into x is x square. So this 12x square you write here. x square you find out x square you have to write in like term. x square is here, so you write 12x square and then next one you change the sign. 12x square this is plus, so you change into minus. Okay, then see. 12x squared, 12x squared, same, 12x squared is plus, 12x squared is minus, same, the little plus sign we can cancel. Then you write remaining 1, minus 10x, minus 10x, okay? 
the last one to find out cosine again first term minus 10x divided by divisor x okay minus sign we have only one we can't cancel number we have only 10 we can't cancel what about x numerator we have one x denominator so we have one x so one x one x we can cancel no more x we have only minus 10 so minus 10 you write it here minus 10 okay again this answer take step this answer into divisor that is x then minus only one number only one that is 10 x only one okay so minus 10 x you write here minus 10 x since 10 x this is minus so you change into plus okay this is no more minus but already plus already changed into plus okay 10 x 10 x same number 10 x this is minus 10 x this is plus okay we should not use this one okay 10x minus 10x is plus same value of percent so this one also we can cancel then what the main nothing remains so remainder is 0 okay then for conclusion we can write which one is question question is this one 20x square plus 12x minus 10 and then remainder is 0 Okay. okay now let's try question number three question number three a okay now we're going to divide 15 z square minus 30 z square 15 z to the power 3 minus 30 z to the power 2 plus 6 z minus 12 divided by 3 z minus 6 nothing new same which, which was first term? First term is 15 the square. So you write 15 the square okay, divided by divisor. Divisor we have 3z minus 6. But we have to take only first term again, okay? not 6. Okay. We have to take only first one, first term only. Don't take both. Okay. So here first term is 3z. So you write only 3z. Don't take both terms. You take only first term. Okay. Okay, in here, no minus sign. Let's check number 15 and 3. We can cancel by uh, 3. 3 into 5 is 15. So here we write 5. Okay, what about z? Sorry, this is to the power 15 z to the power 3. The numerator z to the power 3 that means we have 3 z. Denominator z only one z. Then if we remove this one z in denominator, numerator also you have to remove one z. So to the power 3 to the power 2 will become power 2 why because 1 z already cancelled okay then z z was the power power is 2 so 15 z square you write it here on question 5 z square 5 z square okay but it again this 5 z square this answer into this answer into divisor 3 z minus 6 and then here you please write body terms okay now what should we do we have to open up this bracket we have to multiply like this like in previous exercise 15 z square into 3 15 z square into 6 okay then 15 z uh, i mean 5 not 15 5 z square into 3 what's the number of numbers here numbers we have 5 and 3 5 3 sir 15 okay what about z z square into z z square into z is get now z square into z is z to the power 3 like minus minus again 5 z square into 6 5 z square into 6 is 5 6 sir, 30 what about z here we have no z so that means we have to write only z square okay okay let me repeat 5 3 sir, 15 we have to multiply both this term by 5 the square now like previous exercise 5 3 sir, 15 z square into z is z to the power 3 minus minus again 5 6 sir, 30 here we have no z only the square so your same message is the square again then you please check like term this is that z to the power 3 so you find z to the power 3 and just write just write below that one z to the power 3 we have to write it here 15 z to the power 3 
and then next this is the square so you find out like term the square is here minus 30 is the square you write here minus 30 the square and then change the sign 15 is to the power 3 this is plus so you change into minus okay and then 30 is the square this is minus so you change into plus okay in all the question we have to change the sign like in this way sign value opposite sign we can cancel let's check it out 15 to the power 3, 15 to the power 3, 1 is plus, 1 is minus, so cancel this one. 30 is the square, 30 is the square, same. 30 is the square, this is minus, 30 is the square, this is plus, so this one, so we can cancel. Okay, and now you write remaining one, we have 6, 0, and minus 12. Okay, okay, again, first term by first term here, first term we have 6, 0, and divisor, first term is 3, 0, don't take both the terms, 3, 0. Okay, here 6 and 3, we can cancel by 3, we know 3, 2, 6, so here you write 2. What about z? Numerator, we have 1z, denominator, so we have 1z, only 1 with z, so we cancel it, no more z, right? So 2, 2 means plus 2, so this plus 2, you write it here on question plus 2 okay and again this plus 2 into divisor that is 3 z minus 6 here you write but here you have to write both the terms two terms are there so you please write inside the bracket okay if only one term is there no need to write but if two terms are there you have to write inside the bracket after that we have to remove this bracket not new same 2 into 3 z minus 2 into 6 okay 2, 3, 6, z, we have only 1, minus, minus again, 2, 6, 12, no x, right, uh, no z, nah? so we'll take on this one, z, you find like, you find like terms, 6, z, here you write 6, z, minus 12, minus 12, and then change the sign, 6, z, this is plus, so change into minus, 12, this is minus, so change into plus, okay, 6, z, 6, z, this is plus 6 z is minus same value plus sign we can cancel 12 12 same 12 this is minus 12 this is plus same value opposite sign we can cancel okay so remain nothing remain remainder is zero therefore we can conclude question question is 5 z square plus 12 And then remainder we have zero. Okay. Okay. Now let's try B. <clears throat> B we have fourteen x square minus fifty three x plus forty five divided by seven x minus nine. Not new. Let's follow same step. <clears throat> okay. First term in dividends we have fourteen x to the power two divided by first term in divisor we have 7x okay then first let's cancel number 14 and 7 we can cancel by 7 we know 7 2 support in right so here we write so what about x x square hmm. x squared is x denominator we have 2x denominator we have 1x if we remove 1x in denominator numerator so you have to remove 1x so x to the power 2 will become only x to the power 1 why because 1x already can none x x if power is one no need to write none then this two x you write in question side two x okay and again this two x into divisor divisor we have two terms so please write inside bracket that is seven x minus nine okay now let's open up this bracket two x into seven x two x into nine then 2 7 zero, 14 x into x is x square minus minus again 2 x into 9 2 9 zero, 18 how many x we have only 1 x so you write x 14 x to the power 2 you write it here like term is there 14 x to the power 2 now x x minus 18 x you just write below 53 x minus 18 x Okay, x x now. Now change the sign. 14 x to the power 2. This is plus, so it change into minus. 18 x. This is minus, so change into plus. 
okay same value of post time we can cancel let's check it out 14x to the power 2 14x to the power 2 same 14x squared is my plus 14x squared is minus so we can cancel this two number what about this one 53x 18x now number not same we cannot cancel so now watch whether we have to check whether we will add or subtract 53 this is plus or minus 53 is minus right what about 18 18 is plus or minus 18 is plus okay not minus okay already changed already changed so 18 is plus not minus okay then let's check this two sign now don't count this minus sign okay 53 is minus 18 is plus so minus into plus minus into plus is minus let's subtract this to number 13 minus 8 is no, 5 right and then for 4 minus 1 is 3 x x then 35 x this is plus or minus we have to check greater number group which one is greater number greater number is 53 and greater number is minus so this will be minus 35 x and then you can write plus 45 plus 45 okay now second one first one we have minus 35 x divided by again first term in divisor 7 x okay here we have only one minus sign we can cancel what about number we have 35 and 7 so we can cancel by 7 7 into what number is 35 7 5 is 35 so here we write 5 what about the x the numerator only one x the numerator so we have only one x so this x x we can cancel right okay so x already gone minus 5 you write question side minus 5 okay again this answer into divisor we have two terms inside the bracket 7x minus 9 now let's open up this bracket minus, minus 5 into 7x minus 5 into minus 9 minus minus 5 7 0 35 how many x only one x now plus or minus we have to check this two sign well because we have two sign right minus and minus minus into minus is plus five nine sir forty five no x right so only forty five minus thirty five x you write here minus thirty five x and then plus forty five you write here plus forty five after that you change the sign thirty five x this is minus so change into plus forty five this is plus so change into minus okay same value of plus sign we can cancel let's check it out 25x this is minus 35x this is plus so we can cancel 45 45 same 45 this is plus 45 this is minus same value of plus sign this one also we can cancel right what will remain remain is zero therefore we can write question question is 2x minus 5 and then remainder remainder is zero okay okay now let's try c see we have 4x to the power 3 minus 37x squared plus 52x minus 15 divided by 4x minus 5 nothing new let's follow same step okay first one we have 4x to the power 3 divided by again first term we take only first term 4x 4 4 we can cancel x to the power 3 and x if we remove 1x in the denominator numerator so you have to remove 1x so x to the power 3 will become x square right then here we can write x power is 2 we have only x square so here we write x square okay again x square into divisor divisor we have 4x minus 5 we have two terms so inside a bracket now let's remove this bracket x square into a 4x x square into minus 5 Okay, for x in x square into 4x number we have 4 say so write 4. What about x? x square into x is x to the power 3 minus minus again x square into 5 is 5 x square right x to x to the power 3 you write you write it on the like terms 4x to the power 3 and then now x square you find out x square here minus 5x square minus 5x square okay now she new sign 
4x to the power 3 this is plus so change into minus 5x squared this is minus so change into plus okay then here 4x to the power 3 4x to the power 3 same what is plus what is minus so cancel this one what about this one 37x squared this is minus 5x squared this is plus or minus not minus right already changed 5x squared is plus okay here what is 37 what is 5 we can cancel so what should we do let's check it 37 is minus 5 is plus so plus minus and the plus is minus so 37 minus 5 is 7 minus 37 minus 5 is 32 x square okay what about sign 32 is plus or minus gradient number is 37 this is minus so this should be negative 32 x square again you write remaining one plus 52 x minus 15 okay next one again you first you write minus 32 x squared divided by again first term 4x minus only one we can't cancel so you have to write what about numbers we have 32 and 4 32 and 4 we can cancel it by 4 4 into what number is 32 we know 4 is the 32 so here write it what about x numerator we have x squared 2x denominator we have 1x so if you remove 1x in the denominator denominator also you have to remove 1x so x to the power 2 will become only x to the power 1 right x x if power is 1 only to write so minus 8x you write it here minus 8x okay again minus 8x into divisor that is 4x minus 5 okay now let's open up this bracket minus 8x into 4x minus 8x into minus 5 minus minus 8 number we have 8 and 4 8 4 7 32 what about x x and x x into x is x square what about here so, sign plus or minus we have to check this two sign minus and minus minus into minus is plus Okay, number we have 8 and 5, 8, 5, 7, 40. What about x? We have only 1x, so it should be 40x, okay? Minus 32x, uh, this is x square, so you read, just read below x square. Minus 32x square, now 40xx here. Plus 40x, plus 40x, okay? Now change the sign, plus 32x square, this is minus, so change into plus. 40x this is plus or change into minus okay then here 32x squared 32x squared same 32x squared is minus 32x squared is plus or same number of plus and we can cancel now 52x this is plus 40x this is minus not same number this is not the same number we can cancel then plus into minus is minus so 52 minus 40 2 minus 0 2 4 5 minus 4 1 x6 then 3 of this plus or minus reason number is 52 this plus so now need to write minus and again then now remaining we have only 5 minus 15 so you write minus 15 okay last one again we'll take 3 of x divided by first one 4x okay no minus sign let's see number number we have 3 of and 4 4 into what number is 3 of 4 3 is a 12 so you write here 3 what about the x numerator we have one x denominator so we have one x so xx we can cancel we have only 3 3 means plus 3 so here we write plus 3 okay and again this plus 3 into divisor 4x minus 5 2 terms you write inside the bracket now let's remove this bracket 3 into 4x 3 into minus 5 3 4 sir, 12 x only 1 minus minus 3 5 sir, 15 no x right so 12 x square you write here 12 x i'm not x square x minus 15 minus 15 now change the sign 12 x this is plus so change into minus 15 this is minus so change into plus okay same value of plus sign we can cancel let's check it out 12 x 12 x 1 is plus 1 is minus cancel 15 15 same what is minus 1 is plus cancel nothing remain remain there is 0 okay therefore we can write question is 8 x square minus no 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 sorry a question is x square minus 8 x plus 3 And then remainder is 
zero. Okay. This is the solution for question number six. Okay, now let's try question number D. We have 2y to the power 4 plus 8y to the power 3 plus 7y to the power 2 plus 4y plus 3 divided by y plus 3. Not new, let's follow the same step. First term, 2y to the power 4 divided by first term, y. Okay, remember we have only two, we can cancel, just raise same as it is. Numerator, we have 4yy to the power 4 means we have 4y denominator, we have only 1y denominator. So, in denominator, if you remove 1y denominator, so you have to remove 1y. So, y to the power 4 will become y to the power 3, right? y, y, power is 3. So, this 2y to the power 3, you write it here, 2y to the power 3, okay? Again, 2y to the power 3 into divisor, y plus 3, right? Put it, put the it terms inside the bracket. Let's remove this bracket. 2y to the power 3 into y, 2y to the power 3 into 3. Then 2y to the power 3 into y, 2 we have, oh, number we have only 1, what about y? y to the power 3 and y, y to the power 4, right? y to the power 3 into y. Plus, plus second one, number we have 2 and 3, 2, 3, sir, 6. What about y? y to the power 3, here we have no y, so y to the power 3 is same as it is. 2y to the power 4, you write here, 2y to the power 4, and then y to the power 3, y to the power 3 is here, you just write below this one, plus 6y to the power 3. Okay, now change the sign. 2y to the power 4, this plus, so change into minus, 6y to the power 3, this is plus, so change into minus. Okay, same value of plus, and let's, let's check it out. 2y to the power 4, 2y to the power 4, same, one is plus, one is minus, cancel this one. 8, 6, this one not same, we can cancel, let's check it out. 8, y to the power 3 is plus, 6, y to the power 3 is minus, so plus into minus is minus. 8 minus 6 is 2, y to the power 3. This plus or minus, greater number is 8, 8 is plus, so here no need to write minus sign. Now you write all the remaining one, that is, plus 7, y to the power 3, plus 4, y, plus 3, okay? Okay, next one, again, first one, 2y to the power 3 divided by here, first one, y. Remember, we have only 2, we cannot cancel, what about y? Demeter, we have 3y, demeter, we have 1y. If we remove 1y, demeter, demeter also, you have to remove 1y. So, y to the power 3 will become y to the power 2. y, y, power is 2. 2y to the power, 2y to the power 2, or 2y squared, this is plus, so here you write, plus 2y squared. I can this answer into divisor that is y plus 3. Okay, again 2y square into y, 2y square into 3. 2y square into 2y, number we have only 2y square into y is y to the power 3, right? Plus, plus again 2y square into 3. Number we have 2 and 3, 2, 3, sir, 6. y square, here we have no y, so this will be y square, okay? y to the power 3, you write it here, 2y to the power 3, y square, oh sorry, this is square, y square, you write it here, 6 plus 6 y square, plus 6 y square, and then now change the sign, 2y to the power 3, this is plus, so change into minus, 6 y square, this is plus, so change into minus, okay? 2y to the power 3, 2y to the power 3, 1 is plus, 1 is minus, so we can cancel this two. 6, this is 7, this is 6, we can't cancel, not the same number. Plus 7 y squared is plus, 6 y squared is minus, so plus into minus is minus, so 7 minus 6 is 1 y squared, okay? What about sign? Great number is plus, so no need to write minus sign. Again, you write remaining 1, plus 4 y, plus 3. Okay, next step. First one we have. 1y squared divided by, again first one we have y. Number we have only 1. Numerator we have y, y squared, denominator we have y. So if you remove 1y in denominator, numerator, numerator, so you have to remove 1y. So square will become, power will become 1, right? Y, y, if power is 1, no need to write. 1y means plus 1y, so here you write plus 1y, okay? Again, this answer 1y into divisor that is y plus 3. 
Now let's remove this bracket. 1 way into y, 1 way into 3. 1, 1 way into y is y square. Plus, plus, 1, 3, so 3, y, we have the 1. Right. 1 way square, here, right. 1 way square, 3 way, here, you read it. Plus 3 way. Okay, now change the sign. 1 way square is plus or change into minus. 3 way is plus or change into minus. 1 way square, 1 way square, plus minus or we can cancel this one. 4, 3, not same, we can cancel. 4 way is plus, 3 way is minus, then plus into minus is minus. 4 minus 3 is 1 way. Great number is plus, so this will be plus. Last one, we have plus 3. Okay. Okay, first one we have 1 way divided by, again in divisor, first one we have y. So here we write y. Number we have only one. y, y. Only one way, only one way we can cancel number y. 1 means plus 1. So this plus 1, you write it here. On question, plus 1, okay? Again, this plus 1 into divisor, y plus 3 y plus 3 now let's remove this bracket 1 way 1 into 1 y 1 into 3 1 into y is 1 y plus 1 into 3 is 3 right so here we can write 1 y plus 3 now let's change the sign 1 y is plus or change into minus 3 is plus or change into minus same value of plus same we can cancel let's check it out 1 y 1 y 1 is plus 1 is minus cancel 3 3 plus minus so cancel nothing remain remainder is 0 therefore question is which one this one right 2 y to the power 3 plus 2 y square plus 1 y plus 1 this is a question and then remainder Remainder is zero. Okay. This is question by this solution. Okay, this is the end of this chapter. Okay, let's take only this much. Okay, you please try this question again. Okay? This is out of textual question. Say divide. 2x to the power 3 plus 1x square minus 2x minus 1 by x plus 1. Okay, you please follow same step and you please try this question. And as, as I said in introduction, since so this is an online class, so I have done only important questions or selected questions which will help you in higher classes. So you please try to understand, okay? Please copy down all the solution on your notebook and keep on practicing, okay? Bye, bye take care, and please 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 study hard my dear class 8 students this is all for today